So we're going for round two on the secondary ignition probe comparison. Um, a few comments on there mentioning why didn't I do it on one cylinder. I actually set the car up for something else and the reason I did it on individual cylinders is just because of what I was doing at the same time. However, we've now got all four of the probes connected up on one cylinder. We've got the PicoScope uh, secondary ignition probe there. We've got the Hantec HT25 connected there. We've got the rot key and we've got the coil of wire mechanic mindset special. Okay, so we've got all four probes connected up already. The uh, BMC Plus PicoScope probe is on channel A. Hantec is on channel B. Rot key is on channel C. And the coil of wire is on channel D. So remember to head over to mechanicmindset.com where you will be able to download this waveform and take a look at it for yourself in a bit more detail. Also make sure you check out our oscilloscope training where we help you maximise the potential of this amazing tool. Most people don't even scratch the surface of these oscilloscopes that they've got lying around their workshop. As you might imagine, I've already had a little play with this and had a look already and the results are quite interesting. So. Let's start the engine, take a look and switch each one on um, and see how they compare. Okay, so we are on now with PicoScope 7. Um, this is the automotive version, of course. The first thing that I'm going to do is apply a trigger to this waveform. So let's just go to the trigger menu, select auto, and we've now got the trigger point now at that yellow dot, okay? Um, we're going over range a bit there, so I'm going to increase this to, we've got minus three to 10 kilovolts there. I'm just gonna go up now to minus five to 20, and then reduce this time base to spread out the waveform, okay? So what you can see now there is that PicoScope waveform on channel A. So now I'm going to turn on channel B with the Hantec and use the exact same setting. So we're going to go to probes, secondary ignition, and then turn it up to match. Okay, so straight away here, we can see that we've got two waveforms that are pretty much exactly the same. In fact, one thing we could measure to see if there's a difference is that peak. So that one goes up to 9.1 kilovolts and channel B is going up to near enough the same. There's nothing in it really, okay? So straight away there, good result for the Hantec clamp, okay? Pretty much exactly the same. And at the end of the day, all we've got here is a clamp on an ignition lead, so there can't really be much difference between the two anyway. Let's have a look at the rock key next. So if you remember last time, we couldn't use the uh, secondary clamp probe because it didn't give us the right scale. So all I'm gonna do is click channel C on. And what we can see here on the green one there, we've got an, an upside down image. So if you remember, we've got that invert feature on PicoScope 7. So if we just click that, we've now got a waveform that is the same orientation. And if we bring it down next to it, again, we're pretty much <laughs> exactly the same. Let's just spread them out a little bit there and stop it, okay? Let's just zoom in on this bit here. Again, look, each one pretty much giving us exactly the same waveform very small difference between the rock key one there. We can just see that very, very minor change, but there's nothing in it really. And again, if we just check what the peak is going to there, again, it's not really giving us a, um, a kilovolt reading, is it? Because we are using a times one probe on a 200 millivolt setting. So you wouldn't really be able to use this in the same way as looking for a relative kilovolts reading, more looking at the comparison between uh, the cylinders that you're measuring. But again, really impressive. So we'll just bring that back together now, and now we'll turn on the coil of wire. So you can see there that we've got 200 volts on the scale there, and it's also upside down. So let's just click on there and invert. 
I'm also going to change to the manual scaling just so it doesn't flick around and change. Just bring that down. Again, we're very, very close. What I'll do is just bring up the Hantec one there because that was quite a, a good waveform. And then we will compare that to the yellow one here. And we can see there that again, we've got a very, very similar waveform. If I just stop it there and then bring that yellow one up. So that's the coil of wire. Similar waveform, but the big difference really is, is what's happening at this end, okay? We can see that they're not at the same levels. However, as a comparison of what's happening on what we would call the spark line, the burn line here, is, is doing a good job, okay? So we could even try just bringing that voltage scale down a little bit, and again, it's made a little bit of a difference this end, However, that coil of wire is probably the one that doesn't match the rest. I would pretty much say that the rest of these are pretty much very equal. Okay, so let's just bring them back down there again like this. Stop it there and you can see straight away, can't you? You know, the similarities in all of them. So thanks for everyone that uh, suggested doing the test like this. I'd kind of overlooked it when I did it initially. But, you know, this we can really now see the comparison between all four of those methods. As I said, head over to mechanicmindset.com. You can download this waveform on the free access waveform library.